insightful podcasts by informative hosts. Insights into Things, a podcast network. Welcome to Insights into Teens, a podcast series exploring the issues and challenges of today's youth. Your hosts are Joseph and Madison Whalen, a father and daughter team making their way through the challenges of the teenage years. Welcome to Insights into Teens. This is episode 64, part of our Q&A questions and answers series on food, possessions, and Monet. Really? <laughs> I'm your host, Joseph Whalen, and my vibrant and beautiful co-host, Madison Whalen. Hi, everyone. How are you doing today, Maddie? Pretty good. So before we get started, I did want to just real quick ask how you're holding up under quarantine at this point in time with the social distancing rules. Um, well, things have been going okay. Um, schoolwork isn't um, insanely difficult for me. Um, I've act- I actually was able to finish early be- today because I finished everything else throughout the week, so um, didn't have a lot of work um, today. Um, but um, I so so far it's been going okay. Um, there are like sometimes where I do have problems, but I've started getting used to it um, now, and I'm actually doing pretty fine. So how are you handling the isolation part, not seeing your friends and stuff like that? Well, um, it is a bit hard, but I do have some of my friends' numbers. I actually just got my um, one friend's number, and we've been talking ever since, which well, that's is good. good. Um, so so you're, geez, that sounds like you're holding up pretty well with everything. Yep. All right. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. So today we're going to do another set of uh, questions here, just some You know, fun, random, get-to-know-you type things. Uh, We are planning on rolling this session into next week's podcast. Uh, We're still trying to prep for that, so we'll see how well that goes. Yep. But today's questions, we're going to talk about food, what your favorite foods are, that type of thing. We're going to talk about possessions, uh, and I don't mean demonic possessions, <laughs> I mean material possessions. That'd still be pretty fun to talk about, though. It, yeah, it, this probably isn't the podcast for that, though. Probably not, no. Um, and the last thing we're going to talk about is money. We've done uh, you know, our financial management uh, podcast in the past, and I think some of the stuff may touch on that, but it's just some general questions just to, I don't know, get, get a feel for what teens are thinking on these topics today. So, ready to get into it? Sure. All right, let's do it. So, the first set of questions I have is about food. Um, What's your favorite food? Okay, that's a little difficult at this point. Um, I really don't know what my favorite food is. I like a variety of foods. Um... I really don't have a favorite food. Of course, I have, like, least favorite foods or just foods I don't like to eat, but I, right now, don't exactly have a favorite food that I know of. Okay. Um, Well, that kind of kills that question now, doesn't it? (laughs) Um, What is your favorite dessert? Do you have a favorite dessert? Um... Uh, sort of. Um, I Give like, me something to work with here. I like anything with chocolate or peanut butter. Chocolate or peanut butter. How about that peanut butter bomba that we get from Keontes? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's like a good that. one, yeah. Speaking of bombas, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Oof. Um, I'm, I think I... Really like the re- like the peanut butter ice cream. Like it's I just see a chocolate. theme here. 
Wonderful. <laughs> um, I promise not everything I love is peanut butter. Okay. okay. <laughs> but you don't dislike peanut butter is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. What do you usually eat for, well, this is kind of an off question, I guess, at this time. But what do you usually eat for lunch at school? Um, I normally eat Lunchables. I have different types of Lunchables. Um, I used to actually eat either Lunchables or an Uncrustable, but after the start of my braces, I realized that Uncrustables are honestly disgusting since I ate them every single day, and I kind of got tired of them. And Lunchables, I actually haven't grown a hatred for. I actually really enjoy them. And even in like the beginning of quarantine, and even now, I'm still eating them. So that's an interesting point that you bring up with your braces. I know uh, way back when one of our earliest podcasts was about your braces. The very first one. Um, and you had some dietary restrictions. Do you still have restrictions on what you can and can't eat with your braces? I mean, yeah, it's like, I mean, I've learned to eat safer, um, but there are like um, foods that I lo like to avoid, like... Caramel's definitely one, especially like the liquid version. I've never wanted to eat um, caramel because I know um, it can be sticky. I also try to avoid baby carrots now because my last experience with them kind of popped out my wire, so I try to avoid them now. Oh, that's um, not good. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Um, of the three meals uh, of the day, assuming you're not a hobbit, what is your favorite meal of the day? Are you a breakfast person, a lunch person, or a dinner person? I think I'm probably a lunch person. Um, breakfast, I normally just have the same thing, which um, sometimes gets old, and um, I don't normally like having breakfast. I mean, I still eat breakfast. It's like supposed to be the most important meal of the day, but I've never really had a fonding to it unless like it's like a really big breakfast um okay. or we're on vacation we get a breakfast um um and dinner um i mean dinner's okay it's just i don't always eat a lot during dinner and um that's kind of when mommy tries to Put the vegetables in. That, my yeah, that's stomach. when the healthy my, stuff comes out, right? Yeah. <laughs> and lunch, I actually pretty much enjoy. Um, I normally like it whenever we have lunch at home. Um, lunch at uh, lunch at um, home at uh, school is just the same thing. But like I said before, I really don't mind the lunchables. But like whenever we would like order food, I act. Um, I just think I have an attachment more to lunch than anything else. Okay, I'll buy that. Um, so restaurants, we don't we don't really get a chance to go to restaurants right now. Yeah. Uh, but when we were going to restaurants, what is your favorite restaurant? Mm. That's kind of hard. Um. Pick any of them. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to think. Did you like Friendly's? Did you like Uno's? Did you like Chiante's? What did you like? Um. Well, I guess I'm sort of in between Chiante's and Friendly's, mainly because um, Chiante's has good food, especially the Bomba. Mm -hmm. um, but... They just tend to give you a lot of food. Yeah, you tend to walk out with a buffet. <laughs> yeah, um, and Friendly's, um, we normally, we used to go there sometimes when Mommy, like, had her nail appointment and it was just us for dinner. And I liked, like, getting the Sundays there and um, also having, like, the burgers and the um, cheese sticks and stuff. Okay, never mind. I just realized there's another one I really like, Dave uh -oh. and Buster's. Oh, yes, Dave that's and a Buster's. Good, that's a good one. So hopefully all of this uh, COVID stuff will be over soon and things will start to open up and we'll be able to go out and, and eat again at some point. Yeah. Um, so the next question I have is kind of a philosophical one, we'll say. Okay. If you could have an unlimited supply of any food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. Hmm. 
Anything. Okay. Um. Peanut butter? No. Oh, just checking. No, no, no. I don't need peanut butter alone. Anymore. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sometimes you use a spoon, right? <laughs> seriously? Uh, I don't have that big of a peanut butter obsession anymore. Okay, so what would it be? Um... I'm sort of stuck between, uh, I kind of want it to be healthy uh, okay. so that I don't um, end up dying from eating something unhealthy. That, well, if you're eating it the rest of your life, that's a very good point. Yeah. Um, something healthy that I actually enjoy. I don't want it to be tomatoes because I know they have, like, acid, and that can actually kill you if you eat too many. Okay. Death um, by tomato? Yeah. Um, do I need to play the Jeopardy theme to get an answer out of you here? No, do not. Come on. Give me something. Oh, my God. Fine. Um, I guess I'll just go with strawberries. Okay. That was not, shouldn't have been that hard, really. I'm sorry, okay? There's a lot of foods out there that I like, and it was hard to pick a healthy one. Okay, fair enough. So the last question I have in this category is, what is the weirdest food you've ever eaten? Where and when did you eat it? Okay, um, hmm. Uh... Weirdest food I've ever eaten. Seriously? <laughs> <sighs> I'm probably gonna get a takedown order for this now. Great. What's your answer? I'm thinking. Okay, I'll have to go with some type of Disney food, I guess. Some type of Disney food. Yeah, because they have pretty strange food. Um, I guess I'll... Oh, my God. Uh, okay. I really don't know. Do I have to play it again? No, do not. Do not. Okay, all right. Well, we'll, can't, we'll consider that a non-answer. Yeah, I really don't know. I eat a lot of normal food. Yeah, you don't really eat a lot of strange food. All right, well, we'll let that one slide then. Um, so that's all I had for the food questions. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back with questions about possessions. <laughs> For over seven years, the Second Sith Empire has been the premier community guild in the online game Star Wars The Old Republic. With hundreds of friendly and helpful active members, a weekly schedule of nightly events, annual guild meet and greets, and an active community both on the web and on Discord. The Second Sith Empire is more than your typical gaming group. We're family. Join us on the Star Forge server for nightly events such as operations, flashpoints, world boss hunts, Star Wars trivia, guild lottery, and much more. Visit us on the web today at www.thesecondsithempire.com. So let's talk possessions. So we're talking material possessions here. All right. So where do you go shopping for clothes typically? Um, typically, um, me and mommy would either go to, I guess, Walmart or Old Navy for typical clothes. But sometimes when we're at like some type of store and we see like a shirt that I like or something like that, we would um, get it. Okay. 
Um, but for like typical jeans and normal um attire, other than weird T-shirts, um, we'd either go. I'm pretty sure we normally go to Old Navy for it. So. Okay. Good answer. What is your favorite item item of clothing, and what do you love about it? Hoodies. Hoodies, and why is that? I like hoodies just because they're like, well, I especially like the big hoodies because, I don't know, they feel like really comfortable and they're not like super uptight. Plus you have like a hood whenever it's raining and I just think they're like completely comfortable and you can put them over like any regular shirt. And I also like the designs of some of them. Okay, so there's a comfort factor and a practicality factor there. Yep. I'll go with that. Uh, which possession do you cherish the most and why? Mm. Um, I guess I cherish the possessions that um, I normally get from my friends because, like, um, I have, like, a bunch of different friendship bracelets from them. I even have, like, a stuffed animal from my one friend and okay. a few crafts that they made for me. Oh, that's very nice. So it's the sentiment behind it more than anything. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that's nice. When you were young, did you have a favorite stuffed animal or toy? Yep, and it's still with me to this day, and I still treasure it. And and what was this? This was my um, stuffed cat. Um, she was an orange tabby, and there's an whole and there's like a whole story. I actually have three of the same kind because, um, mommy knew about like how she had a favorite toy and how she lost it, and she knows the devastation behind that, and she didn't want that to happen to me. So she bought three of the same toy, and she actually put them. She there was one that you guys kept in the house. One that um my, that was kept in your car, and one that was kept in mommy car. And mommy's car, so whenever, like, we would go out and I was like, can, can we bring Kitty? That was the name that we used. Right. Can we bring Kitty with us? And uh, mommy was like, Kitty can stay home. And then it was like, oh, my God, she's here. <laughs> and then I don't something happened where I actually brought Kitty in from the car. And then when I saw the Kitty um, in my room, I'm like, Mommy, there's two Kitties. <laughs> and then... I ended up realizing that there was three kitties, and they're all, and they're all in my room. I would bring them where, whenever we went on vacation. Well, one of them. I don't bring all of them, but right. I do bring one. And uh, they're very special to me, especially since I basically, um, I don't know, um, I they've been with me ever since I was born. So Yeah, yeah. the magic of uh, parenthood there when we can make that happen. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you, do you like to keep your room neat and organized or do you like it to be messy? Okay. So I guess we can go into the whole transformation story now. So before we actually started doing the podcast, I actually used my room actually used to be the studio. Um, and it was a complete mess. Um, I was pretty young and I never kept it clean before and like it was impossible for anyone besides me to navigate through it. Um, yeah, even the poor cats had a difficult time getting through it. Yeah, which was sad. I just had like a bunch of stuff on the floor and then when we like transferred over, um, and I moved to the room next to, um, this room, I ended up, um, cleaning it up a bit more and I actually just like cleaned it. Um, again, and now I'm keeping it way more organized, and now, like, all of us can fit in that room and, like, still have enough room for each other. Yeah, and I give you total props for that. You do a very good job keeping your room clean. Mommy and Daddy don't have to bug you about it or anything. Occasionally, you'll make a mess if you're in there building something with the Legos or something, but you always clean it up, which is nice. Yeah. If you could have... Any car you desired, and this is a little forward thinking from last year, last week's podcast. If you could have any car you desire, which one would you choose, or what type? It doesn't have to be a specific model, but what type of car do you see yourself driving? Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> do you want um, a minivan like mommy? Do you want a crossover like daddy? Do you want um? Like a sedan? Do you want a sports car? What kind of car do you want to drive? 
I think I might want to go for like a minivan like Mommy, um, mainly because um, her type of car has so many props to it and I could just see myself sort of driving one even though I probably wouldn't be driving around a bunch of people. I just feel as though I would be driving one of those cars. I also like that kind of um, uh, design, I guess. The style of car? The style of yeah. car, yeah. Well, and that's that's cool. I I kind of like mommy's car too. Mommy drives a Honda Odyssey, and it's got a lot of bells and whistles. And for a, a minivan and, and someone my size, it's actually fairly comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and we would know comfort because we've driven to back and forth to Florida several times with it. Sixteen hours. Yeah, it's a long drive. <laughs> yep. It's important to have a comfortable car. Yeah. Uh, the last question we have under our possessions category tonight is if you were stranded on a desert island, which one possession would you want to have with you? Um, I guess if I had to pick one thing, it would be a lighter. Why are you a pyromaniac? No, so that I can have fire and warmth, and fire can also get fire me bed. food. And, like, fire can also provide light. Okay. And it would be kind of hard, and I don't exactly know how to start a fire on my own, so. Despite the fact that you tried doing it with your drumsticks when I was playing rock band the other day? <laughs> it didn't work, did it? <laughs> Thankfully, no, because you were in the middle of the living room. <laughs> uh, okay, that makes sense. You know, it's a survivalist type thing. Yeah. Uh, and even, you know, depending on the type of lighter, even if the... Uh, the fuel runs out. You can still use the flint on there to, to use sparks to create a fire. So, uh, we will take a quick break and we will come back with questions about Monet. <laughs> Insights into Entertainment, a podcast series taking a deeper look into entertainment and media. Our husband and wife team of pop culture fanatics are exploring all things from music and movies to television and fandom. We'll look at the interesting and obscure entertainment news of the week. We'll talk about theme park and pop culture news. We'll give you the latest and greatest on pop culture conventions. We'll give you a deep dive into Disney, Star Wars, and much more. Check out our video episodes at youtube.com backslash insights into things. Our audio episodes at podcast.insightsintoentertainment.com or check us out on the web at insightsintothings.com. All right, so let's talk about money. Okay, you actually said normally. Yes. Yay. It's not money, money. It is money. Yes. So my first question here is, what is the last thing that you bought with your own money? Um. Well, technically, the last thing I bought with my own money was the yearbook, my school yearbook. Oh, you paid for that with your own money? Well, technically. Mommy is technically paying it with her own money, but she took it away from my, from her pay from me working. Okay. Does that count, or do I have to actually go? Or are you getting that money back? No, I'm not getting that okay, money Okay, then back. technically you paid for it. Yes. Okay. Boy, that was a very complicated answer. Uh, what do you usually buy with your allowance or your your pay, really, for doing chores? Well, um, for now, until I have a practical use for it, um, I just buy, like, like, small, like, anything I'm really interested in, like, toys or, like, drawing stuff. Okay, so you're, whatever your hobby is. Mm-hmm. You're not out there buying any fashionable clothes or anything like that right now or anything? Nope. Okay. Do you think it's important to save for a rainy day? Yes, I do. Um, Why? 
you never know when you need the money. Like, there could be, like, one point where, like, um, you're low on, like, I don't know, um, some, like, rent for, like, your home and you have, like, money saved up. Like, you can use that money to pay it off or, like, pay off any, like, uh, bill or, um, debt that you owe, um, Sure, that, that makes perfect sense. And and considering the conditions we're operating under right now, I think this would qualify as a rainy day with so many people out of work because of the virus right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, there's the stimulus checks that went out. There are people filing for unemployment in record numbers. But having something to fall back on to try to maintain your your standard of living, I think, is is very important right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, this category if someone gave you a thousand dollars and said you had to give it to charity which charity would you choose and why um i don't know specific charities could you give me examples well, would you give it to the Red Cross? Would you give it to Cancer Foundation? Would you give it to Wounded Warriors? Would you give it to the Salvation Army? Uh, would you give it to UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Relief Fund? Like, it, it, you don't have to name a specific charity, but what would you want to, who would you want to help with that money? Um, well, I'd want to want to, uh, I don't know what I did. Um, I would want to help. Um, I think I'd want to help like young kids who have cancer, um, just because it's really hard on them and their parents. Okay. And I've heard so many stories about like. I've just like, I just know um, stories about kids having cancer and how the parents feel about it and. Um, Hopefully, the, that money would help, like, to have a cure for that because we still haven't got a cure for cancer. Right. Um, and I just want to, and I would just want to know that I'd be able to help um, at least one family with that. Okay. And there's a lot of ways, you know, if that's the direction that you want to go, you could donate to American Cancer Foundation. You could probably easily find a family who's suffering from it and probably give direct to them. Or you could contribute, you know, specifically if you specifically want to help children with cancer, you could give to the Shriners, you could give to, um, in our case here, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia or, or other organizations like that. So, mm-hmm. But that's definitely a, a worthy cause. And the last question that I have in this category is ironically enough, another philosophical one. If you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Um, well, I'd probably wait a few years until I had to go to college and see how much that would cost, and hopefully the lottery money would cover it. Yeah, chances are it would probably cover it and then some. Yeah, um... And I think with the money afterwards, if I was going with that route, um, I might um, save the, I might like save or use the rest if it's enough to like hopefully get that one like small house or apartment building that I wanted in the future. Okay. So you want a whole apartment building to yourself? Well, not exact. I just want an apartment room. Oh, I see. I see. I got you. I got you. Um, that was all the questions that I had uh, for today. Kind of a short round of questions here. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you have any questions or anything else you wanted to add it to what we've talked about? Not that I know of, no. Okay. Well, I think uh, we will take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll give you the floor for closing remarks and shout outs. For closing remarks and shout outs. I don't know what to put for closing remarks today. 
honestly, today was just a Q&A on three different subjects. I'm not exactly sure what to say. You have any ideas? Well, I mean, did you want to offer some commentary on uh, materialism, um, you know, um, saving money, whatever you want to talk about. This is your, your time. Okay. Um, I guess I can throw in something for that. Um, so if you do, um, find that, uh, my God. um, I just want to say it's very important to save money, especially during rainy, um, for rainy days. Um, and it's important to be to understand your limits, your like financial limits when you um f when you uh, buy anything that you um are really enjoying, but you um, know it's gonna cost a lot. So it's um, important to know your limits on that. I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Any shout outs? Uh, I don't know. No? Okay. That's fine. Then we can, we can just, uh, that's all we had for this week. Uh, before we go, uh, I would like to invite you to subscribe to our podcast, either our audio or our video podcasts on all the major podcast networks, Apple Podcasts, Google, Stitcher, and all the other ones. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, we would love to get your feedback. You can email us at comments at insightsintothings.com. We are on Twitter. If you subscribe to us, you'll get tweets when we go live. Uh, at uh, We are at insights underscore things. You can catch all of our videos on youtube.com slash insights into things. You can catch us on Facebook at facebook.com slash insights into things podcast. Uh, our audio podcasts for the show are available on podcast.insightsintoteens.com. We stream live on Twitch six days a week at twitch.tv slash insights into things, or you can get audio video, YouTube, um, transcripts, and much more at our website at www.insightsintothings.com and you. And don't forget to check out our other two podcasts, Insights Into Entertainment, hosted by you and Mommy, and Insights Into Tomorrow, our monthly podcast, hosted by you and my brother Sam. All right, which we should be recording this weekend, by the way. We haven't had an installment in some time because of the virus. Yep. Uh, that's all we had this week. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. And we'll be back next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.